right, all right. Welcome back to Eyes Open Media. Prophet John here. Hope you guys are doing well. We are back from restrictions. Um, had to take a week off there for restrictions. We had community guidelines uh, strike on one of my videos um, called the uh, the healthy, the, the sick will blame the healthy. And uh, if you didn't get to watch that video, man, that was a really good video. Um, and of course, that's exactly what's happening right now. Um, so in this video, we're going to be talking about modern men and um, what's going on with modern men and, and uh, you know, why a lot of modern men are single, okay? And uh, are they going down the same path that the modern women? We did the video on modern women and we talked about what, what's going on with them and, and how they are uh, basically mind controlled into the... Um, depopulation agenda okay you know um you know most a lot of modern women women are alone you know in their 40s and 50s and 60s and they're alone and with an with a, with a dog or a cat right and um i'm, I'm seeing it in in my area uh, lots of modern women are single right lots of modern women are single modern women in their 30s 40s and 50s and 60s are single and and they, some of them live alone, right? I know, I know, I've seen a couple of them that live alone, right? And they don't have, they don't have, you know, they just live alone, right? And some of them have animals, some of them don't. Like they just live alone. That's crazy. It's just weird, right? This, this was not the case. Just going back into the 80s and 70s and early 90s, 80s and 70s and 60s and 50s, and this was not the case at all. Matter of fact, this has never been the case at all until until recently, the last ten years, right? And so, modern men are are we following the same trend, right? Are we going to be uh, in our forties and well, actually, it's a, it's actually the complete opposite. Um, if you're looking at the statistics and stuff, um, modern women as they age, they're you know they're they're starting to live alone with animals, and modern men. As we age, we're being we're being sought after. So it's kind of it's kind of weird. But um, uh, but um, as, as men start to age, uh, we start to make more money, and also women start to think we're more attractive for some reason, or maybe we're more stable than all of the uh, twenty year olds. You know what I mean? <laughs> so um, I don't know. Okay, so um, if you're in your thirties and forties and fifties and sixties, you probably know what I'm talking about. If you're a man, um, you're you're starting to get more sought after, uh, and it's more usually by the younger women. Is uh, you know women twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, and early thirties. They are you know even older women as well. You know, but it's about depending on how you look, right? Um, but uh, we're starting to get more modern men, or as we age, we we get sought after more um, than we almost more than we did when our twenties, you know. Um, especially if we're our income stream has doubled or tripled since our twenties. Okay. Um, another thing is uh, modern men. Um, there's a there's a trend going on with modern men on social media of toxic relationships, and we're making it comedic. We're 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 put, making it into some type of um, comedy um, to be in a toxic relationship. Yeah, we fight every day. Yeah, we we argue. Yeah, we might slap each other across the face. Yeah, you know this is what we like to do. You know, and they're making that into a. Uh, they're making that into a trend, and that's a that's not good, right? We don't want to have a we don't want toxic anything to be our will be our standard, okay? So we need to avoid that. Uh, understand that it's just comedy, and that's it, okay? When people do that on the gram, Instagram, or Twitter or Facebook, it's just comedy, you know. Do not then take that and say, well, this is what um, this is what I should do. You know, I should get into, I should have a woman argue with me all day long, and I should argue with her all day long, and you know, we should con cause drama on purpose because this is what we like. No, that's not that's not what you want. That that's gonna give me that's gonna get you into a, a, a early grave, <laughs> right? So you and, and a lot of health bill problems when that comes with a lot of medical problems. Okay. Um, and another thing that modern men we don't take women seriously, 
right? We 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 um we get into these relationships and we think in our heads, well, she's not the one. I'm just going to I'm just going to instead of just telling her she's not the one and this isn't going to work long term, we literally just stay in the relationships and then we put it we set a we set a timetable for this woman and we just play along and then we and then when the timetable expires it's time to get rid of her we make it we you know we we know whatever we, we have to you know if, if if it comes down to a fight or she wants to um or she did something to you that you didn't like you'll use that in the excuse to say okay now it's over because the time has expired in your head anyways you wanted to give it a year two years three not to that not so that we can have a marriage not not so i can marry you but so that i can now move on to something new or be single again we shouldn't be doing that okay we should not be doing that to women um we should not be doing that to ourselves as well but a lot of modern men do that they will get with a woman knowing they have no plans on marrying that woman and they will waste that woman's biological years right a year or two or three is a long hey when the woman hits when a woman hits that 23 years old age that 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 that is prime years for pregnancy family marriage you know what i mean and so we cannot be wasting these women's uh time man especially knowing in the back of the mind we have no plans on marrying this woman and so we got to stop doing that as modern men, okay? Uh, we're, we're also marrying late, okay? Modern men are marrying late. We're choosing to marry in our 40s and 50s and 60s now and instead of marrying in our 20s and 30s because we want to be bachelors and basically live in sin, you know, for 20 years, you know, <laughs> before we then say, okay, let's settle down. And when we do settle down, we're not settling down with women that are our age. We're settling down with younger women, right? Because younger women can can actually, you know, birth children for us and things like that. The women that are going to be our age, they're maybe over. We, we call them over the hill, which is, you know, we shouldn't be doing that, <laughs> <laughs> right because women in their women in their late 30s and 40s and 50s still a lot of them still look really beautiful right and even in their 60s now we got women and i'm, I'm talking about the melanated women i don't know about the you know asian yeah there's some asian women that still can you know i think i think that you know looking at the broad aspect of women um in different races and stuff uh, there's women out there in their 60s and 70s and 50s and 40s and 30s that will kick the the 20 year olds in the butt right we understand that they keep themselves in shape and their skin is glowing they probably got they probably take putting that sea moss on their skin <laughs> you know what i mean keeping that thing glowing and y'all women y'all women out here that are wearing all that makeup why don't you wear why don't you put that sea moss on your skin man that sea moss will have your skin glowing you know what i mean so take off that makeup and put that sea moss on your skin oh my goodness you ever seen a woman with sea moss on her skin Whew. you know what i mean i put the uh I put the royal, um, the royal uh, sea moss cocoa butter or whatever it's called on my skin, man. You know what I mean? So, uh, anyway, <laughs> anyways, um, also modern modern men, we we hate women with children. Now I'm not. That's not me. I love a woman with a child. Okay. Um, I don't. I don't have a problem with it. I don't know what the big deal is. I know the. I know what it is. It's you have to. You you have to raise another kid, another child that's not yours and things like that. But I. I love. I love an, a woman with a child. Okay. So I mean, I don't have a problem with it unless the unless the child is a a, a, a stubborn, a miserable, you know, or whatever. You know, whatever. The, if the child is hard headed and you know what I mean? If the child's a normal child, then it's fine. I, mean, I don't have a problem with a, a woman that has a child. If my wife has a, another child, I don't think my wife will because of what the you know what I've seen in my visions and dreams and what other people have said. You know, um, I don't think my wife will have a child, and I, I think me and my wife will have a child together. Um, but um, if my child, if my wife had a child, you know that the God want, brings me, that's fine. Right, because most men have children when they meet a woman, anyways, right? And the woman doesn't doesn't see that as a knockoff, right? So I don't see it as a knockoff. If you have a child, um, 
it's not a knockoff to me. Um, I like women that are in shape, though. So if you had a child and you got really, really heavy and big and you're out of shape and I can't do nothing for you. <laughs> you know what I mean? I like women that are in shape. You know, I like I like you know, my I like women that are in that are dimes, okay? And so <laughs> yeah, I, I date my yeah, I I've dated models and, and been hanging around model women and things like that. So I I like women that are that are upper tier like that, eight, nine, ten. Okay, and I don't think ten is a. I don't, I I find it that ten is very hard to marry, but an eight is perfect for marriage. Like if somebody that's at an eight level, where they're super cute and 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 in that first stage of sexy, yeah, I think that's a beautiful because they're that cuteness always stays. You know what I mean? Um, you can lose your sexiness, but that cuteness, when you're high level cute. That that stays forever, man. You got the dimples or whatever, or your eyes and the smile. <laughs> that stays forever, right? So, anyways, um, and then also, uh, uh, dating out of our race is a big thing, right? We're dating out of our race more than ever. So, a Caucasian man is dating out of his race more than ever. A, a, a bronze man is dating out of his race more than ever. An Asian man is dating out. I seen I see Asian men with with melanated women out here where I'm at, man. I, I see Asian men with white women, melanated women. Uh, uh, I see Asian men with Puerto Ricans. I'm like, what's going on, right? And so we're date modern men. We're dating out of our race like never before so we're testing the waters and seeing all types of different stuff so this is a dream now for me personally um yes i've done it i've done all that stuff before and i, and I you know what i mean so um i know what it is I, I i i get it um but for me um from for marriage okay so i've done all that stuff but for marriage it will be a melanated bronze woman. Either she's going to be ADOS or, you know what I mean, um, you know, or she's going to be an African-American or she's going to be African or she's going to be an African-Caribbean um, woman, right? Um, something like that or, you know what I mean? So that that's just me for, for uh, marriage because... I want my wealth to go to my people, okay? So even if it's, if, it, if my wealth is being transferred, um, you know, to her, then that's my people, right? You know what I mean? I don't, you know, <laughs> I, I, too too many times we've seen our, you know, the, the bronze wealth being transferred to other race of people. And it's like, man, they, they, you know, that woman just took five hundred million dollars from the <laughs> from the from the African American community, and we we cannot. That's something that we should not be able to stand because white people do not do not stand that at all. Asian people do not stand that at all, right? Um, Spanish people, right, or or or, Puerto, or Mexicans and and Cubans, they cannot stand that at all, right? Because that's wealth that should be going to them, to their people, to their communities. So. For marriage, I'm I'm going. It has to be a bronze woman. Now, Prophet Solomon said that you know she saw my wife and she had a lot of hair, and so did uh, Prophetess uh, Shirley. Um, you know, and I've seen her. I've seen her. I've seen her in my dreams and stuff like that. Now I don't know if this is going to be the same woman because of all this stuff that's happened over the last several years. We don't know. I mean, maybe God might change my my wife to somebody else, but. Um, but either way, um, my money is my money and my wealth is going to stick in the in the African American African community. Um, not saying that I'm not going to do things for everybody else because I've done things for everybody else, right? For you guys that know, I've gone above and beyond what anybody thought I was going to do, right? Um, <laughs> um, so uh, I, I've definitely done enough a, a lot for other race of people and uh, and I had a great time doing it and I'm going to continue doing that but my my personal wealth is going to make sure that it stays in my community just like your personal wealth is going to make sure it stays in your lineage and your community as well right that's just common sense that's not hating on anything that's just common sense um what else uh let me see here uh splitting the bills 50-50 that's another thing that modern men are, uh, we, we, we talk about now. We even make videos about it on social media. Man, if I'm dating a woman, it's 50-50, man. We, we, you know what I mean? So we never been that, that like that until recently. Um, 
uh, men would just pay and everybody else would just shut up. You know what I mean? Like, we wouldn't have a problem with that. I mean, men in the 80s, 70s, 60s, 50s, and, and beyond that, we didn't we didn't talk about 50-50 bills. It, men paid for everything, and uh, we kept it moving. Uh, even if it didn't work out, we just kept it moving, right? Um, because it's, there's limits to pay. I mean, there's limits to bills and, and pay. So let's say you meet a woman and you don't know that it's going to work out. Well, you don't take her to a fancy restaurant, duh. You know, you take her to go get some burgers. So you got you got modern men who are dating women. They don't think that they're going to be going you know in a serious relationship with long term and they're taking out they're taking them to steaks and dinner and shrimp and steaks and stuff and then they're making videos like man she didn't want to pay but bruh you're taking a woman that you don't even want to even be serious with long term and you're just having fun with you're taking her to serious dinners man <laughs> Like, like a woman that a woman that you don't want to that, that you just um, friend zoning or whatever the case may be, take her to get some uh, some burgers and fries and stuff and just have a fun and go hang walk around the park and stuff. Then you not then you don't have to worry about paying and or or worrying about um, she ain't paid. Well, it was, it was only seven dollars for some burgers and fries, right? And so so what we're doing, so modern men, we need to just recalculate what are we doing you know if the woman is if we're gonna be serious with this woman and we think we're gonna marry this woman then we can step it up but if we have if this woman is somebody that we're just gonna be with for maybe three months or six months or a year then you need to make sure that you're not spending all your money at high fancy restaurants and you're just taking her out for casual things that are not expensive so then you don't have to worry about 50 50 and things like that and if it, if it doesn't work out because you already have in your head it's not going to work out, then okay, you you know you spend five hundred dollars in six months on on having some fun with a, with a female, you know, with a woman. Okay, right. So I I don't know about this fifty fifty thing, man. Um, you know, for me, my you know when I have, when I have my wife, um, I don't even I, if my wife doesn't want to pay for nothing, she ain't got to pay for nothing, right? So I'm not even gonna ask my wife to pay for anything. Um, you know what I mean? So, uh, that's just me, but you know, everybody's different, but I, I, I don't like men going on social media talking about, she should pay, she should pay 50, 50. I don't like that, man. I don't like that. You know, I was like that. I was, when I was a liberal, I was like that. So maybe it's just, maybe it's the liberal way. <laughs> Cause when I was liberal, I was like, yo, you're going to have to pay 50, 50. Right. And and my, my girlfriends, when, when we went out, they paid sometimes. Right. And so I didn't pay all the time. I did pay majority of the time, but I didn't pay all the time. Right. So, um, yeah, that's interesting. But, uh, I don't like that we're uh, making that a big deal. I think uh, we never made that a big deal. This is just modern men foolishness, in my opinion. Um, or how about modern men brokenness? This is because because this is not high value men that are saying these things. These are men that are making forty thousand or less, right? And all you have to do, men, if you're making forty thousand or less and you can't afford it, then don't go to the expensive places, man. There's a lot of good quality cheap food places that you can go to um that uh that you can have fun with women just want to be with you and and have conversation man yeah. come on man um and then also uh what was the last one here um uh, modern men a lot of modern men, not the high value modern men, but a, but the, uh, the you know the you know, medium to lower end modern men. I don't even like to say that because that's degrading people. But I'm talking about income levels, okay? Um, they they like to, uh, and I said they because I'm I'm a, I'm a high value man, <laughs> so I'm not gonna put myself in this situation. But they like um, women that make more money than them. And I find that that's kind of strange, you know, modern, a lot of these modern men that are middle tier and low tier, they, they're looking, they're trying to find women. Have you seen, cause the whole thing is switch. It used to be the men who had, you know, a hundred thousand to a million dollars and the woman had nothing. And then the woman would take half on a divorce. 
Have y'all re have y'all seen the trend completely changing over the last three uh three five years, ten years? There's a lot of men that are with women that are now making more than them and they're divorcing these women or they're getting a divorce with the women, a mutual divorce, and the man is making out like crazy. <laughs> and and so this is the trend that's starting to happen a lot, man. Okay. I mean I seen one I seen a dude, um, he got the children and he got spousal support. And I'm like, oh my God, what the world is this? You know what I mean? So like, and then we just had a, a Kelly Clarkson had her, a, her has to give her husband two hundred thousand a month. Imagine being a man and your wife who's paying you two hundred thousand a month, and so you can survive, and you are a man. Oh my goodness, <laughs> that don't even sound right. But that's what it is. Modern men are seeking out women that make a lot more than them because men are making like most men make 40,000 a year so women are making more money than on than men in a lot of these situations right more women are making 70 80,000 you know a lot of them not single black not single african american single bronze women are making way are in the poverty right they're way they're they're way down there but a, a woman that's married or a bronze woman that's married, or a white woman that's married, or an Asian woman that's married, or an Asian woman that's single without children, they are making out. They're they're up there, man. They're educated. They got PhD. I'm a PhD, right? So <laughs> Kevin Samus. Um, so they got PhDs. They got master's degree. They they're into um creative arts and and uh, graphic designs and um doctors and and all that stuff. So. Women are doing it out here, especially in many of these areas in California and Atlanta, um, Texas, uh, Florida, down in Miami. This women everywhere, just New York, Jersey, Maryland, you know, D.C. I mean, <laughs> these women are making six figures, uh, eight, you know, 80,000, 90,000, 100, 200,000 a year. And of course, now you have social media. So these women are making money on modeling. You know, they don't have to, they don't have to strip and be naked, you know, and be all that stupid stuff. They don't have to do all that, but they, they can, they can just wear fashion clothes and, and they're, they're making bank, man. They're making, you know, $200,000 a year. And these modern men that are making $40,000 a year are seeking out for them so that if something happens, they got, they, they got this woman making 200000 that they can sit at home and lean on. <laughs> right and so women you need to be careful because modern men are trying to trap you if you're making 200,000 a year and you have a great career you're going to these modern men that are making 40,000 a year are coming for, are coming for you you probably already see it already happening now because you know they see you and they're like okay you know I see you getting in that Benz okay you got in that you getting in that in that Bentley or Beamer or whatever okay I'm coming for you, man. You know, I mean, I only make forty thousand. I need you. I need, you know, it's a cold winter. You know, I need you. I, I need, you know. Uh, so, I, you know, women need to be careful because men will really try to uh, lure you in, knowing that, even though they, they know they're not making any money, right? Um, and then, and then the number one thing they're gonna want to do is have a child, child with you because you're making a lot of money, and they're gonna want to trap you into a child, right? That's the that's what we do. <laughs> that's what we do. Not me, but that's what we as modern men do. I'm in the I'm in the uh, I'm a high value modern man, right? So, um, I think we're I think you know look for me personally we're all high value we're all in the image you know uh, if you're made in the image of God and you're Yeshua uh and you're you're born again in Yeshua and you have the Holy Spirit with you you are a high value man and and a high value woman right so but we're just talking about the income levels okay <laughs> but um yeah i think that's it um uh, modern men that's what i want to talk about modern men and um yeah, I mean, we're going the wrong way. Let's put it that way. We're going to, except for the high value men. Now, the high value men do date outside their race a lot. Um, or maybe they don't. Maybe it's just being, maybe it's just advertised that way. 
I still think high value modern men are still dating inside their race more than they did outside the race. It's just it's just more televised when they do date outside the race, in my opinion. But I still think modern men as a whole and modern women as a whole are going the complete opposite way. And that's because of the mind control agenda that's happening. And we need to just get back. And I think we will next year. Okay. If you guys follow me on Patreon, you know what the you know what next year is. Um, this year is the year of revenge. Next year is the year of I'm not gonna say it, it's for people on Patreon. But um I think next year we're gonna we're going to uh we're gonna start returning back to uh loving each other um a lot more okay so anyways that's that's the wrap for this i'm glad to be back tomorrow we're going to continue with another video um and uh, we're going to continue i think we're going to do like seven straight videos man uh, i'm we're back we, we we were off for seven for seven eight days so we're ready to go man peace out god bless and uh watch out for the next video tomorrow it might be tomorrow morning actually um i might get up and just crank out some videos man let's go peace out god bless and if you're a modern man which many of you guys are watching me i don't know what tier you're all you're on um if you've been following me you're a high value man <laughs> okay okay uh if you're in christ then you're a high value man um yeah let's protect ourselves out here let's uh because you know there's a lot of crazy stuff going on but let's also teach let's also teach as well as we see let's correct when we see things that are wrong peace out god bless and i'll see you guys in the next video eyes open